My name is Amanda, also known as Amatu Forever on Instagram, and I'm an illustrator and a graphic designer. What my art means to me is that it is a representation of who I am or who I wish I could be. Um, it's black and brown women, natural, beautiful, smart, sassy, all of that. I started drawing since I was very little. Um, I remember I used to love making picture books when I was in elementary school, so I used to do that all the time. Um, about 11 years old, when we first got our computer, I used to make magazine covers, which is something that I actually enjoy doing even till now. I just remember always being a visual person. I had to see my thoughts and dreams on paper. I had to illustrate it and just see it in front of me. I would come up with these stories and I would envision the main character and I would draw how I think she would look. And that's kind of my basis of how I draw now. I just envision a scene or some kind of moment or I'm listening to a song. It's, a lot of times it's inspired by music. So I'm always listening to music, some kind of song, some kind of vibey song. And I'll get inspiration right then and there of what I want to illustrate. And I try to and capture that mood, the mood that I'm feeling, the mood that I'm listening to. Um, and I try to get that down on my iPad and, and that's where the magic happens. Um, my growth over time um, has definitely gotten gotten to a place where I feel like I'm satisfied with the way it looks. Because for a long time, I just struggled with... Um, you know, I do portraits, so I just struggle with trying to get this illustration, this portrait to look like an actual person and not so much as a cartoon. Um, cause that just, that just wasn't, wasn't the style that I was going for. And I would just be on Pinterest and just studying other artists work and just trying to figure out like, what am I doing wrong? I was just trying to, to correct the problem of why my work wasn't where I wanted it to be. And a lot of artists, when they first start out, you know, they're looking for their style. And I've, I, I was one of those people looking for my style, air quote. And a lot of professionals, a lot of people that have been doing it for years, they always say the same thing. They say, you know, you, it's not really, a, you don't really find your style. The more that you work, that becomes your style. And I finally understood that once I got to a place where I was satisfied with the way my work looked. And it just takes practice. It, it really does. Because I've been drawing since a little girl. I really got into doing portraits when I was, I have to say I was in maybe 10th grade, 9th grade. Um, it was this album cover. It was Tantiana Ali's album cover. And I would draw, I drew, I remember I drew that uh, portrait like three or four times until it got to where I was satisfied with it. And then once I started having children, when I had my, my when I had my son is really when I stopped drawing. Um, I wasn't drawing as much as I used to. I think I dropped, stopped drawing for maybe like Two or three years and then that's when I got into graphic design and then when I got my first uh, iPad Pro is when I really picked back up on drawing again like really getting back into it and it really wasn't until maybe a couple of years ago I say no actually I say about 2018 is when I really started taking it serious again and really finding that love that I used to have for drawing back I, I got it back again and I would just draw the illustration every day and I was like I said looking on Pinterest to, to find like looking up anatomy and tricks and things to to, to get the portrait to look how it's supposed to look to look like a, a actual person and just drawing every day just that practice so that's what I, I did what I had to do and I feel like I'm I'm, I'm where I want to be right now but of course that doesn't mean I stop practicing I just keep practicing and you get even better um, you can find me on Instagram. Um, I have other sites, but I, I mostly post on Instagram. So you can see me there, see my artwork there at Amachi Forever. My most exciting moment, um, I actually have two, was my um, about my very first professional um, job. I created some artwork um, for a single for a music artist named Bia Javier. Um, she's really really cool and she has really good music so check her out but she gave me the opportunity to illustrate for her um, single and it was nice and it was so cool to see it on um, apple music and all the other platforms so that was a big deal for me and also as of recently 
Um, I did the illustration for a book called The Problem with the Other Side by Kwame Ivory. And that was even just as cool just to walk into Barnes and Nobles and to see my artwork on the shelf. That was something that I've always wanted to happen. That was always one of my goals. And to see it in person is I'm still living off the excitement off of that. So I'm always hoping for more of these opportunities because I want to see my artwork everywhere. I can't say that I have any worst moments or the worst moment, but I mean, I do have times where I can't forget how to draw because I'm, I'm always making sure that I'm drawing something every day, even if I'm not completing it. It's just, you know, I feel like it's a good exercise. And at those times, I might physically not feel like drawing, but I try to get in the habit of forcing myself to do it. So when I force myself to do it, it's like I completely forget everything that I know, how to draw, how, how to take the measurements, all those things. It completely goes out the window. So I'm really sitting there sketching all these different illustrations just to get something that I'm satisfied with and just to call it a day. So I'm not quitting until it's something that I like. What do I hope to achieve? Um, definitely, I definitely want to have more partnerships with like companies. Like I wouldn't mind doing illustrations for Target. I wouldn't mind doing more book covers, um, album covers, like really anything. Like I'm magazine covers. I'm trying to get on um, <laughs> the New Yorker. That would be that would be really cool. But um, I'm just I'm really just just doing it because that's what I love to do um it's fun for me if nobody sees it nobody likes it but I'm satisfied with it um I feel like I have accomplished a goal um actually I wonder how he found me <laughs> um I want to say hi to my husband Rico and my kids Mario and Ryan and also um my art agency go on agency shout out to your Cole um and also to um my followers on Instagram there's, there's a lot of them that um they have been around for a while that I recognize like every time they I post something I, and they like it I'm familiar with who it is and, and they're very very supportive so I just want to let y'all know that I see y'all and all to my new followers as well thank you guys for following me um I really do hope you enjoy my art and thank you